Greetings once again. This here is the ancient spirit Tralaka. Well, <laughs> let it shine. Let your inner spirit shine. We're going to really work on this deeper understanding. Okay. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, yeah! This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You got it! This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, yeah! Okay. What a beautiful southern song that was. It's truly a real spiritualist song. Truly understand that your inner spirit, when it is awakened, that inner spirit, who is the real you, starts to have this glow around it. Like when you're having a good healthy campfire, after a while underneath the flames, you see that glow, that glow of energy being released while being constantly refueled. This is important to remember. As your inner spirit is more awake and being worked with in your glowing to the, into the shining, and you will each as individual shine like a bright beacon. It will attract others who have not yet reached that shine, who may just barely be glowing or almost a glow uh, with their own inner spirit. It will also attract different friends into your experience and different challenges and changes for you now are on a different level than you were before. This is a continual process for most spirit humans as they awaken on this planet. Though there are those among you who are here to guide others into awakening, for when they came here and were born into the human experience, they were already awake. They already had all the cards they needed for the journey. Then again, as we are in a duality experience on this particular aspect of the living multidimensional universe, there will be those also to trick you into hiding that shine of your inner spirit or con you into thinking you must surrender and change away that shine and, and give it to somebody else who is ahead of a belief or religion or quite frankly the best of the con artist. <laughs> Please, please understand, your inner spirit is yours. It always has been. It always will be. It is yours. It belongs to you. Don't borrow it out. Don't borrow the keys to your inner spirit shine or energy or your inner spirit at all. Don't borrow that to anybody, you goofballs. Oh. Always remember. It is yours to experience with as you choose with the experiences, whether we are in this three-dimensional duality world or some place of a much higher dimension or or. By understanding more and more on how to awaken your inner spirit, you can start to shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Within, this inner shine is not from an outside of earth entity or entities of God or goddesses and so forth. That inner shine belongs to you. As your inner spirit becomes more and more awake, you will, as I have explained in other videos, begin to receive into your three-dimensional mind downloads from your inner spirit on knowledge on perspectives at a level da, 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 which will surprise you. But just be sure <laughs> you will be taking control of your own experience in life if you so choose at this time. 
and understand things. <clears throat> understand things from a whole new understanding with a harmonic peace flowing from within you. If by chance at this time feel an anger or a rage for what you remember that was hidden from you from long ago as your inner spirit was forced, tricked into slumber, please do this. Say this in a calmness. I am in the present moment. I am in full calmness in my state of being. These other emotions pushing forward within me will be addressed when I get home from work or event I am now on. Each aspect of you pushing forward emotions will be addressed, each upon its own honor. While my human aspect remains within honor, always we cannot separate, for we are all part of me. We are part of me. I choose each day, each night, to honor, to be in honor, be always of honor. So shall this be. Da, 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 da. As your days, weeks, and months go on, as I'm continuing here uh, from before, please, please take physical notes with paper and a pencil or pen and write them down. I keep repeating this. This is so important to do it this manner. To not use an uh, uh, electronic notebook or, or pad when you're first transcribing this stuff down. It is important to use a paper with pen or a pencil because this is not the same as writing it onto a computer because the computer parts of it is not physical in the same as paper. It's the same as how you put it on paper. It must be written down in a physical notebook so it is manifest into your physical reality. Even in, 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 in let's say when your electricity goes out or your battery life on your computer just peters out, what's written in your paper notebook will still be. So it is written on paper as it has been since ancient times will still be readable and helpful to you and for others. Why? This is the important question here, my friends. Why? And I love answering whys because <laughs> it's what I do. It is the physical movement of your hand and fingers which upon your emotions flow that empowers impressions through the ink or lead that you are pressing onto the paper notebook you are using. This is important to understand on writing things on paper or using your voice recording, which is also impresses physical impressions of your emotions into the fabric of air between you and the listeners. This is why some books you read makes you cry or laugh or even makes you angry. Huh, they don't like the Packers. Huh, they're evil. <clears throat> Sorry. You are picking up on so much more e manners and emotions from the one who originally wrote it or sang it because it is vibrations that is within the writing and or the voice that to sway the emotions of the people who are then going to be listening or reading it. However, da, 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 the hidden leaders for so long have used our music industry to sway the emotions of crowds with mind-controlled tonings, even for their, their mind-controlled assassins, using toning of, of words and melodies 
to get them to do their will. So please listen to music which makes your inner spirit dance and shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't listen to music to be in the cool crowd of people. If at that time it makes your inner spirit want to come out of your body and give you a good swift ass kicking, which you undoubtedly deserve. Okay? Please listen to music which is harmonic with your inner spirit. This will help you and this will aid you to shine naturally. And it will make your inner spirit want to dance and sing in return. If you have to, use your computer to take the words out of the music so you can enjoy the melody which attracted you in the first place. And enjoy the now moment of that melody so much more. Please take notes on paper, on paper with a pencil or a pen. Unless, of course, you rather I call you a weasel dog. This is the ancient spirit, Tralaka. Journey safely, always. Journey to many worlds. Let your inner spirit shine and take notes when you return. Good night.